Hey guys and gals, sweet Project Cars here with cool and trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer. This is probably one of our greatest mother of all hacks when it comes to PM, preventive maintenance and rust prevention. This car right here is a 96. Look at the bottom of that door. And I'll show you because I'm going to come right up here and show you the tag. And you can see the year right there. As you can see from the inside of this door, down at the bottom down there, you see the water down there at the very bottom? See that? Now by theory, supposedly these drains are supposed to let the water drain out. Well, it doesn't get help this area right here and then way down tight at the bottom of the door edge right here in the seam. Water gets in there and of course it rusts out. So what we do is we take a piece of body tape. This method is all how much you love your car. How long do you plan on keeping it? If you're going to put it in storage and you love your car like we love our cars, and I'm going to share with you other areas on your car that you can do and why they rust out. And I'm going to give you an in-depth way to stop that, prevent it from happening dirt cheap. Now there's three products that we use. You can pick the one that fits you the best. I'm going to share with you what they are. I'm going to share with you how to apply it and what to do. You will not have issues with rust at the bottom of your doors, rusting out and or the bottom of your rear part of your front fenders where they like to rust out. Also, rocker panels are notorious for rotting out on a lot of the big trucks, four-wheel drives. F-250, Chevrolet Z71. The rocker panels rot out, and here's how you prevent that from happening. Okay, real easy way to get to your rocker panels, which is your threshold plate right here. Pull that out. On most all vehicles where they snap in, there's holes, and you can put your 3 16 smaller tube right in here and put a couple ounces in. Do it on the front door and the back door. That way your whole rocker panel is taken care of. They will not rot out, they will not rust out doing this. First off, one of the products we use is petroleum jelly. The second product we use, when needed, transmission fluid. The other one that we use is mineral oil. I love the petroleum jelly because it is a petroleum-based product and it lasts a long time. There's no smell to it. You can use baby oil as well if you want a nice sweet smell in your car off and on. And this is how you take it from jelly state to the liquid state. Put it in your steel pan. Now all these tools will be in the show more of the video description. Take your heat gun or your hair dryer and watch the transformation of this and it's not flammable you can also put it in a glass bowl and stick it in your microwave or set a metal bowl in your oven for a little bit and it'll liquefy Done. Now all you do is get your funnel ready, let it cool just a little bit, and all you do is dump this in. Very simple. Now for me and my personal vehicles, I use transmission fluid. There's not probably a better rust inhibitor out there than transmission fluid. And again, you can use the mineral oil, transmission fluid, or the petroleum jelly. And you've seen how much I put in there. Now they do have these syringes that you can use. So let's go get started and we'll show you how we do it. We've got a small piece of rubber hose, basically 3 16 We have a piece of brake line, roughly the length of top of the door, where the door window seal is, down to the bottom. Pretty simple. This just goes over it. Very simple build right there. Brake line or tubing, 3 16 works, and your rubber hose. Now the other size of tubing that you can use is a 3 8 brake line. And I suggest doing the larger tubing at this end and the smaller at this end.
and it's just long enough to reach to the bottom. If you slide it in slowly, you'll feel any obstructions. You can move it around to get it past there. Now listen, we're at the bottom. Mineral oil, just so I could share with you, and I'm gonna actually do the transmission fluid as well. The petroleum jelly, you just gotta keep it warm when you put it in, that's it. Put the nozzle on top, and you just squeeze it. Okay, and why we put the tape on is so we can let it set and soak in there before it drains out. We want it to really get down into this area here of the door. That's it. Done. Let it drain. We'll go around to the inside. Okay, you can see down in there. You see the mineral oil? And it's seeping clear to the far left. And it's way over in the left corner over there. Now what you can do, if you want to make sure that it gets over to the far, far part of this, is put a floor jack on the other side of the car and just jack the other side of the car up until the car's tilting maybe about, I don't know, three or four inches to this side and it'll all drain over to that side even more. But it's everywhere in there. See it down in there? That door will not rust out down there. Now let's add some red transmission fluid to it for the front of it. Now you can use your syringe. We filled about two ounces in there roughly. And all you do is put that in the top of your tube, squeeze it down in, and you're like a miniature surgeon. Done. We'll let that drain a little bit. Okay, now you can see it draining out here. See it dripping? All right, now you can see the transmission fluids mixing in there. All right, I wanna share with you why the bottom of your front fenders rot out. It's because you see the leaves in there? They hold moisture. You've gotta keep those blown out and cleaned out. Use your super duper sweet project cars air nozzle and blow that stuff out of there because that's exactly what we're going to do and then we're going to treat this area right here and show you how to do it. Because they let all those leaves build up in there. So let's clean that out. All right, now you can treat these here by sticking your nozzle right in here and letting your mineral oil or Vaseline go inside here or your transmission fluid or and it's a good idea that you come in right here. You can go right in through this opening, right back there. And I'm going to do it and set the camera up and you'll see it start coming out of there into the oil pan. Okay, now you can see the oil dripping on the far right side of the pan. That's from the door. We're going to use our mineral oil right where I told you I was going to put the tube and you'll see it start coming out. See it? Right there. And that's from being up here at the top. Right there. You can see where I put the tube in at. Do this, both of them maybe once again, two to three years from now and you'll never have to worry about rust because what's one of the biggest issues people have where there's high moisture like down south or where they use road salt or chloride is you have rust and the moisture gets in there and it just eats away at it. Let's go over here on this side and you can see it's working its way down. There's some right there. Okay, all I did was I stuck the tube right here Inside there, filled it up. Now those issues are gone. And keep the leaves cleaned out of it. This is draining out. We're just gonna let it continue to drain out. All right, I tilted the car up. You can see it's really draining out of there good. And it's puddled up down at that end. And that's what we want. But like I said, if you don't wanna mess with the transmission fluid, you don't have to. You can use the mineral oil or the Vaseline. Just keep the petroleum jelly Vaseline warm when you add it.